Hello everybody. Today I'd like to talk to you about the light dependent reactions of photosynthesis. Um, remember that this phospholipid bilayer represents a thylakoid membrane inside of a chloroplast. This is an electron transport system embedded in that membrane. And this is ATP synthase. This would be the inside of the thylakoid here, and this would be the stroma of the chloroplast out here. We should begin by labeling some things, I guess. Um, this is called photo system number two. And this is called photo system number one. This will be a hydrogen ion pump, which is a protein embedded in the thylakoid membrane. These two things are mobile carriers, which I'm going to ignore the name of right now. And of course, this is. ATP synthase. Hope you can see that. I guess our story should begin considering we're talking about photosynthesis and the fact that these are the light dependent reactions of photosynthesis with sunshine or light. I'm going to draw it with this yellow marker here going like this and saying light comes down strikes photosystem 2 there is a there is an electron at the reaction center of photosystem 2 that gets excited to a higher energy level when that light strikes photosystem 2 I'll show it like this jumping up and right out of photosystem 2. It then gets passed along this electron transport system through this hydrogen ion pump down to this mobile carrier. Now, as we know, when electrons pass through hydrogen ion pumps, hydrogen ions are pumped And in this case, hydrogen ions are pumped into the thylakoid lumen, or inside. And then this electron passes over here to photosystem 1. When light strikes photosystem 1, that electron is excited again. Boom. It's picked up then in the stroma by NADP. And when it is, NADP becomes NADPH, meaning it is now carrying that electron. We'll put a little box around it to indicate that that's important to remember. Now, you might say, hey, if photosystem 2 lost an electron, how do you replace that electron that was lost? Well, you split water. So over here we'll say we take a couple of water molecules donate their electrons, which causes them to fall apart into oxygen gas and four hydrogen ions. You can see that hydrogen ions are building up inside the thylakoid lumen because you're splitting water and you're pumping them in there. Now you might say that my numbers are off here. That's fine. You're going to get more than you know one electron when you split water. There may be more than 
one electron moving through the electron transport system at one time, but that's not important right now. This oxygen that is a result of the splitting of water, that's the oxygen that plants give off through their stomata. The interesting thing here is oxygen is the electron donor in photosynthesis electron transport system. If you remember, in the aerobic cellular respiration, oxygen was the final electron acceptor to make water. Here we're splitting water to donate the electron, whereas in aerobic cellular respiration, we were donating the electron to make water. You can go back and look at that if you like. So what's the deal here and how is this important? Well, as you continue to split water and as you continue to pump hydrogen ions into the lumen of the thylakoid, you get a proton gradient again. You get a high concentration of protons inside of the lumen and you get a low concentration of hydrogen ions out here in the stroma. That creates that potential difference of hydrogen ions here across this membrane and by facilitated diffusion then the hydrogen ions are going to escape the thylakoid and diffuse back out into the stroma through ATP synthase. And when that happens, the energy is used to rephosphorylate ADP back into ATP. And that pretty much concludes the main idea behind the light dependent reactions of photosynthesis. What is the end result? You've made ATP and you've filled up some NADPH with electrons. Those things, the NADPH and the ATP, will now go to the Kelvin cycle in the stroma of the chloroplast and be used to aid in the production of the sugar in the light independent reactions of photosynthesis. And that will be the next video.